being chased out left. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. And he pulled it. Oh, my goodness. It's no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So what a let off there. You figure that was an easy three points. Instead, it turns into nothing. And from that close of range, if you start it left, your goose is cooked. And this thing, well, it never had a chance to straighten itself out. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Escobar with it over the middle. It's a gain of 24 that time. And the Cowboys are going to get a first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead. Confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Looking to throw, Prescott, and that is incomplete. Offense in a little bit of a bind here. Nine yards to go on third down. On third down, it's Prescott escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered. He's able to get a hand in and knock it away. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. A first down throw for Cousins. Now to the left here to Reed. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Cousins on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Second down, Cousins. Flush to his right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations. Hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. Going for the deep ball. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Prescott on third and two. A dump off to Elliott, and he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They come out here in the eye. Elliott running right. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. 
The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And they're going to speed things up here. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually up to about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run it with Elliott. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Call it a three-yard gain. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And this part of the game's been an adventure thus far, but this one is good. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now it's Chris Thompson on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. First down, here's Cousins. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Sean Lee in there to get him for his second sack of the night. And the offense moving quickly to the line. All right, here we go. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game, and he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders, and Deshaun Jackson made that big-time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end, and it's third down. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Let's go! On third down, Cousins. And now here is another interception. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. On the counter, Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 11 on the game there. And that leads to a Dallas first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Again to Elliott. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. And now they're in the hurry up. 
So we've got encroachment, and that's a free five yards. Too easy for the offense. A bit of impatience by the defense on that one. It'll be a gain of four. From the four-yard line, it's first and goal now. Here's Elliott, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the... And Dez has got it. Dez Bryant for the Cowboy touchdown. Dez Bryant, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And here come the Redskins now. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. On second down, Cousins again. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. That was a nice completion on an out route. And those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. Throwing. Cousins. Out to the left here to Reed. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And quickly they get to the line. They'll throw again, Cousins. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Orlando Scandrick. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out now come the Redskins. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Going Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again and some changes here as the d-line separates some throwing again cousins on second and ten and that is incomplete stopping the clock with five seconds to go and he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Throwing his cousins. Jordan Reed has it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 